hello friends welcome to a new video in this video we will see how to enter the boot mode of the bq8050 reading the boot file uh, entering into the boot mode changing the cycle count change the full charge capacity of course i am using the linux here because the cp2112 will work with the carosy software on the linux platform the dj battery killer software is used to read and write the rom file uh, the linux file uh, you can download from the my link it i am using the vmware here so the windows will not support the cp2112 on the carousel software but the linux it is actually possible a huge thanks to all of my subscribers thanks for watching this video love and respect So the BQ8050 chipset is actually a com using a complex algorithm to enter into the boot mode. Uh, I don't know the right way uh, entering in the boot mode. It will take some time to enter actually uh, more than one hour. It will take the process to complete. But with the professional tools, it is very easy. Like the NLBA tool, the UBRT, uh, I don't know the bu 2 works this chip. So you can check and with this tool or with this script, I am using on the Linux it will take uh, more than one hour so I am using the VMware here using the Kali Linux we can download the VMware file from the Kali Linux website there is a direct file so you don't need to install the Kali Linux you can save the time I just got into the boot mode in uh, 30 to 40 minutes first time I am getting into the 5 minutes second time it's 30 minutes and in the third time it is uh, 10 minutes so I don't know the correct value entering into the register 71 that is the confusion here because the 73 value is changing from time to time and from this uh, the Karosim website I got the link you can see this is another person he is uh, he used the same uh, source file but he added the support to the cp2112 a huge thanks to this person whoever it is he created nice work here and you can see the installation method here but on the linux it will take some time to install i i think it for me it, i took two two three hours to understand what is the linux and how it will work for me linux is a new thing to me i only learned the linux in the school time but now i am using the windows here so the linux it will take some time you need to learn you need to understand the error and check it on the google you will get the answers I will share the executable files for the Linux. I don't know it will work or not, but it will take some time. <coughs> Definitely, I will share the script file. You can actually find it in the Windows file in that link. So, here you can see I'm just using the uh, normal SMSB. Uh, what to say the software to and checking the software is working or not by using some commands. I am using the SMSB scan here, the chip responded and you can see some values here. So you can see the manufacturer data, you can see the uh, manufacturer uh, date, the something like that. But there is no cell voltage because the chip is not responding properly. I think some SPS data is missing. Maybe the SPS version is different from the other than using this in uh, this software. This is for this. Uh, this is only using the first two, first two version. So from this on, you can try to write the uh, data values, or you can actually read the uh, each register by a command by using the SPS com. SMSB com uh, first time trying to trying to read uh, uh, the register 0 so you need to call the address as 16 you need to define the uh, the what to say the the byte length here I think it's a word so R2 I don't know if it's a byte length or leave it minus half hyphen R2 it will read 
and um, if I read in the cycle count the 70 register you will get the answer 0 1 C 2 it means uh, in the decimal value it will be like 450 yes 450 so the chip is working the CPTU 112 is properly communicating with the chip this is what we need now we can run our uh, script uh, without any delay so this is uh, the uh, the post which I got the idea into a script there is this person also already already write a script for the windows if you have the fx 2 lp you can write this uh, script for the first we need to send the 0214 for the uh, 71 register like the big 8030 it's a symbol uh, it's a same process here so it is uh, the value is successfully completed the you can see it is saying okay now we need to read the data from the 74 just to make sure it is actually showing it's a word file so minus r2 hyphen r2 so you can see it is 0603 i think and uh, this value is constant it will not uh, change from but from the 73 you can see the value is changing from time to time this is the confusing part we don't know what I don't know uh, I don't know how to enter into the proper way into the boot mode so we need to run a script with the help of the chat GPT I created a script file for the Linux it will run continuously a guess value will enter into the 71 if the value properly inserted in the 71 the chip will go into the boot mode just wait So now we are in it means the chip is not accepting any guess values the chip is in the boot mode we cannot uh, dump the data from by using the same soft linux software because there is some kind of problem with the code i am directly using the dj battery killer to read and write the eprom file so you need to disconnect it from the, the cp2112 from the linux environment otherwise it will not work on the windows or just disconnect it from the usb port and reinstate so i am disconnecting the cp2112 from the linux now open the dj battery killer okay now connect the cp2112 choose the bq3055 Go to the firmware, you can click on the direct, read EEPROM, we don't need to untick the boot mode check, we will get the hex file here, we can use the any any hex for maintaining software to read the data, I am using the HXD, the HXD will automatically make a backup before uh, uh, any changes happen. So while reading some values you can actually read the firmware just make a backup it will it will give uh, give us a safety if we happen anything happened to the chip we can just re-upload the firmware also the eprom i don't know if it is possible but there is there is a hope okay now just read the firmware it will take some time that software will hang a moment but you know it will it will read the data completely it took some time to read the data but showed some error i don't know why I'm just directly uh, going and editing the value the 450 the 600 register I'm just changing the value also the 494 because the full charge capacity is only 494 the decimal value for 450 uh, okay 45,000 is 1194 I need to enter the value uh, 1194 here just save Clause. Uh, do I need to change the value on the 500? Only the 600 is needed. I don't know actually. Okay, click on the right EEPROM. Just load your previous file where you have saved. It will start to write. At a moment, it will take. It will stuck. Don't worry. It will complete the process and just. Uh, exit from the boot mode and read info at a moment I just break the chip I don't know but somehow I recovered it okay now go to the command 08 don't click on the exit boot click on the 08 send command now you can see the charging current the charging voltages came back wow 
but it will go because the fuse is dead so the the other the other things are working the mosfet is also working the pf the pf flag is only remaining is the fuse because of the fuse the pf flag is there that's great uh, so if we descent capacity is changed cycle count is zero the full charge capacity is also changed to 4500 we can com compare the values here okay that's that is the way enter into the boot mode of the 58050 you can see the charging current the charging voltage is gone because the because of the fuse the fuse is dead we need to change the fuse then only we can recover the battery board but it just it's just a demonstrating video so you know just uh, trying something ok is showing the values everything is showing the board mode will not going to work because we need another algorithm for this chip so the 71 0 to 1 4 again going into the boot mode you need to do the procedure that's it you can see the values are changing 74 constant weight other values are changing if we enter the 70 0 5 1 2 1 7 it will not going to enter so which which value is for the 71 that is a confusion so this is how I edited the values we can come back for another great session the bq 9000 thanks for watching this video we will see again